Hello everybody and welcome to the latest blog post by Giant Software. This is very interesting. This is a first look at parallax occlusion terrain. In other words, 3D textures, not to be confused with dynamic ground of course. So this essentially makes a texture appear 3D. It adds depth to a texture. So in Farming Simulator 22, surfaces will appear more realistic and natural. Thanks to parallax occlusion mapping we implemented in the Giant's Engine 9, Parallax Occlusion will make the terrain and other surfaces in the game look more detailed and dynamic if the feature is turned on in the settings. Let's take a look and see what's actually happening. So yeah, you can turn this on and off. Right, so first of all, we have the banner there to pre-order. You can do that now. I've pre-ordered my collector's edition. I really look forward to showing that off. Okay, so what is Parallax Occlusion mapping? Well, first of all, let me show you this. Giants have created this fantastic animated GIF which shows you the difference between essentially FS19 textures and FS22 textures or if you just had the option on or off. So it really does look flat, doesn't it? When it's switched off, it's just flat. There's no depth to it. You can tell that that is not 3D. Whereas when it's switched on, it's really giving this effect that there is depth to the ground. You can see the ridges. It's adding this 3D definition. It certainly is going to make it look much more realistic. We're trying to explain it as simple as possible. Parallax occlusion mapping is a technique that basically boosts the details of a textured surface to give it depth, like the tire tracks on your field trenching in the ground. They're deeper now, and here's why. In the first step, Parallax occlusion mapping reduces a geometric complexity of a 3D model, like the gravel on a road or even bricks in a wall, for example. The reduced surface details are transformed into a flat texture. When the model is rendered in the game, the surface details are put in a so-called height map. That's what it looks like. The height map basically adds a depth to otherwise flat surfaces. Imagine a height map as a geographical map with hills and valleys. Different colours mean different depths. As you can see in the height map above, the darker the surface, the deeper it is. So yep, you can see with the uh, footprints, that is where, well, don't want to sound too dramatic here, but where somebody has sunk into the ground, um, maybe only by a centimetre, but that is deeper than the actual surface. So it's going to give you this sort of 3D effect. Right, so based on this info stored in the image, the surface is then reconstructed in the game, appearing three-dimensional and realistic. Yeah, but why parallax occlusion, though? There are a couple of reasons to use parallax occlusion mapping in video games like Farming Simulator 22 to achieve this effect. First of all, the result looks very realistic and certainly adds depth to the surfaces in the game. Just take a look at these visualizations of surfaces gaining depth. Right, so yeah, as you can see... We've got a stone wall here, and, well, it's pretty self-explanatory, actually. Now you've heard about it, you can see that that doesn't appear 2D. There is depth in that wall. The same with the bricks. You can see that the bricks and mortar have different depths. Then, of course, it's performance-friendly. The degree of parallax occlusion mapping is determined by your hardware and graphical settings. This way we can improve Farming Simulator further while still keeping it hardware friendly for every gamer out there. If your system can handle it, crank up the settings and you'll get the best result. If not, don't worry, you can still play Farming Simulator 22 with lowered settings and parallax occlusion turned off. Okay, so yeah, it really is just improving the textures from a 2D effect to a 3D effect and uh, just making everything seem much more realistic without really pulling all of the power out of a computer system. So how will the game look? For roads, fields, walls and buildings, you'll notice the improved surfaces everywhere when walking around in Elm Creek, Erlengrat and, well, the third, which we haven't been shown yet. Um, yeah, that is obviously yet to come. Look forward to hearing about that map. So we then have these differences again. Different examples with it switched on and switched off. 
and it really is impressive. You can see how certain areas sink lower and certain areas rise up. We're still working on parallax occlusion mapping, but with those first comparisons, you should get a good sense of what to expect. Please keep in mind that the effect may not be properly reflected in still images compared to live gameplay when FS22 is finalized with parallax occlusion mapping and is released and running on your system. To wrap this up for now, take a closer look at the ground. Doesn't it seem like you'd feel more alive walking on this rocky path barefoot? Yeah, I, I think the potato ridges are pretty impressive. And there we go. Stay tuned for more. Farming Simulator 22 will be available on PC, Mac, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series XS, PlayStation 4, Xbox One and Stadia on November the 22nd. Pre-order now to receive the Class Zarian Saddle Track pack for free. And if you are interested in pre-ordering, I do have my affiliation link down below. Uh, always much appreciated if you do order through that. There's no discount, but I get a percentage from Giants, which just helps out the channel. So uh, thank you to everybody. Anyway, yep, there we go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.